This bike right here is the brand new Specialized Tarmac. It belongs to Peter Sagan, and although there have been a few spy shots from races like the Criterium de Dauphiné, this is the first time that it's been available to view for the press and for the public. Sagan is going to choose to ride this bike apparently on all of the hillier stages and, impressively, on many of the flat stages. Let's start with a few of the details on the frame. The specialised tarmac frame set family has a long and very successful history in road racing. So what have they looked to update on this latest version? Well, a few things. First up, lightweight. It weighs in at 735 grams. Sagan's bike is possibly a little bit heavier thanks to the really very cool custom paint job, which adds a bit of weight, which means the mechanics don't have to weigh this one down quite as much. Next up, aerodynamics. Specialised have worked very hard to make the tarmac, which was previously known as their lightweight climbing bike into also an aero machine. So this one is more aerodynamic than the first generation Specialized Venge, which is of course Specialized Aero Bike. Next up is stiffness and ride quality. So this bike is really based on Specialized Rider First engineering philosophy, I guess, which means that the stiffness and ride feel of the bike is appropriate to the size of the rider who might be riding that size of bike. And that starts with frame size and also links into saddle height. Specialized have also worked on a couple of other things. Tire clearance is one because as we know, tires have been getting fatter over the last few years. So this bike has clearance for 30 millimeter tires. Finally, compliance. So the shape of the seat post is more compliant, so it has a bit more give in it than the traditional round seat posts. And the top section of the seat post, the top 10 centimeters or so, are designed to add to that compliance too. Finally, the paint job. The mechanics at Bora are actually very relieved that Sagan's bike does have such a custom paint job because it adds a little bit of weight, which means that they have to add less weight to the bike to bring it up to the UCI's lower weight limit of 6.8 kilos. The paint is what Specialized call their superstar paint. So it's designed to, when the sun's shining, it shows all of the colors of the rainbow. Starting, as we always like to do, at the very top of the bike, Sagan is riding a Specialized Roman Evo saddle. It's got fat carbon fiber rails, and there are a few custom touches there. So the Specialized S is in gold, and towards the back, there's some color on it that matches the superstar paint look of the rest of the bike. Moving forward from that, there's a very chunky, unbranded 14 centimeter stem, which sits on top of about five millimeters of headset spacer, which sit in turn sits on top of a ceramic speed headset. The handlebars are specialized aero flow. They're a very similar shape to the aerodynamic handlebars that you might see on the specialized Venge Vias that some of the riders in the team use on the flatter days. Attached to those handlebars, we've got SuperCas bar tape, Dura Ace 9150 shifters, and a couple of sprint shifters too. Linked up to the brake levers, we've got Shimano Dura Ace 9100 dual mount brakes, both front and rear, and we've got Shimano Dura Ace 9150 Di2 front and rear mechs. The rear brake is particularly interesting because instead of having a bridge on the frame, Specialized have got what looks like a carbon booster plate there, and that is apparently a lighter and slightly stiffer solution for direct mount brakes. Sagan's cassette is Dura-Ace, his chain is Dura-Ace, and his chain set is Dura-Ace 2, and that has a 4i power meter both left and right sided. Pedals are also Dura-Ace. The wheels are by Roval, that's Specialized in-house wheel brand, and they are the CLX 50s, which were new at the start of this year. Tires are also Specialized, and they are the Turbo Elite, made with Specialized Gripton rubber. So what about the finishing touches on this bike? Well, there are a couple of little ones I really like. Up front, K-Edge have made custom Garmin or custom computer holders for all of the Bora Hansgrohe riders at this year's tour. It's got his nickname on, so that's Pito Bomber. And also, if we move back to the seat post, ahead of the race, specialized 3D printed number holders for all of the riders, so that's a custom one-off job, and they have been epoxied to the seat post. Vital stats time. Sagan's cranks are 172.5, his chain rings are 3953, and his cassette is an 11 through to 28. His stem is 14 centimeters long, and his handlebars are 42 centimeters, measured center to center on the drops. The reach from the nose of his saddle to the center of the stem comes in at around 60 centimeters, and his saddle height from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the saddle comes in around 75 centimeters, which is actually just my perfect height. And the weight of the bike, well, like we said, it is a super light bike that the mechanics are likely to have to weigh down, especially for Sagan's teammates, whose bikes don't have this sort of paintwork on them. So it comes in at 6.8 kilos on the dot. I hope you've enjoyed looking at Sagan's bike. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments and share this one with your friends too. To see more pro bikes, you better subscribe to GCN. And to do that, all you need to do is click or tap on our logo, which is on screen right now. Also on screen is a link to our shop. To see more bikes from the Tour de France, click right there to check out our full Tour de France playlist and to see another randomly selected pro bike, just click there.